targets in it. And it's the right, the right ones you think are getting it. It's not just people squeezing in because they make a right enough fuss or... Uh, the, it, it depends. We've had a high influx at the moment of year th two, year three pupils coming in. Can you really diagnose social emotional mental health needs in six yeah. or seven, eight year olds? It might be, and some of them come in and do absolute need our support and will be with us right the way through till leaving education. But at the same time, you know, pupils that maybe just need a bit of a visual timetable, something as simple as that that pupils just don't get, or it might be five minutes in another room, or it might be a bit of extra playtime. You know, there's, there's pupils coming into our service and into our school that might just need that, and they don't need the UHCP. And that's why I refer back to earlier with the systemic failures that it's institutional trauma. Our, our pupils that need to be with us have experienced years of developmental trauma for whatever reason, a whole host of reasons. It's not because they've gone into school and the support's not been the support that they need, and that's the traumatic experience that they live day after day, and then the trauma builds up, and then they are meant, you know, medically trauma, you know, mm. traumatised, but that's come from school, that's not come from mm. everything else.